Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, so NOS, do you know what that stands for? New old stock. All right, this is a new old stock Bolo video. I love looking for new old stock items. They can go for big money and they can also be a great bread and butter item. So we are going to get started. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. As always, thanks you guys for being here. And let's look at some bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell high. My channel is for resellers. If you came to learn, you came to the right place. So first item, vintage new old stock. And you can write it as NOS um, or, some people write in the title new old stock, but that takes up so much room. So I just put NOS and I search NOS. So um, some people like it, some people don't. I like it personally. So this is a vintage NOS Levi Sanferized Western shirt and it's dead stock. And it sold for $456.99 with nine bids plus shipping. Vintage Levi's is a major bolo. Sorry, I wanted to make sure I had the screen open, the screen share. Um, I'm always afraid I'm going to get to the end of the video and forgot to have put it on screen share. And all you guys would hear me doing was talking. Okay, so this is another, and this was, uh, this is a motocross uh, shirt. It's like a jersey style, which it's super cool. The advertisement there is really fun. And this sold for $456.75, which I totally believe it. Um, amazing. And just the graphics, it's just a fun item. So definitely be on the lookout. This is a Captain Action Anti-Gravitational Power Pack box. Uh, let's see. Inbox Comic Hero 1967. Never heard of this. It sold for $411.76 with 31 bids. I'm kind of the type of person where if I find a toy that's new old stock, it doesn't matter what it is. I know that it's probably going to be a good bread and butter item no matter what and could be a big money bolo. All right. So this is vintage flocked French poodle fabric. Flocked material is definitely a bolo. Um, the pictures are really hard to see, but you see how it's kind of raised on the poodle? That is definitely a good thing. Flocked material. And I don't have never seen poodles. Like it's usually like a floral print on like a see-through sheer material, it seems. So this one's a little different, but this sold for $342 and the buyer paid shipping. Fishing lures. This one is new old stock. Sold for $304 plus shipping. And if you guys didn't see my video, I can't remember. I think it was the second week of lockdown what sold video. Maybe it was the third week. I think it was the second week. But um, one of those two videos, my husband sold a fishing lure for huge money that he picked up at a garage sale in the back of a tackle box for $5. Vintage um, I was going to say th they're panties, roomy panties is what they're calling them. Um, they're typically sheer, um, or satin are the ones that do well. And you can see how they're using the light to show the sheerness. Definitely a huge, huge bolo. These items go for big money. I have a video on it. There's certain things to look for when you're selling um, these types of panties, these vintage panties. I can't remember what the vi uh, video is called. Maybe just try typing in panties. It might pull it up. But there's different tags and different brands that do better than others. So if you guys check out that video, I give you some tips. I've never sold any like this before, but um, I have researched it a lot because I hope to find some someday. This pair sold for $237.50 with 17 bids plus shipping. All right, this one's interesting. It's uh, from the 1940s or 50s. It's a dashboard Jesus companion accessory. And it's new in the box. So I'm guessing it's just something like you stick up in your window. 
I'm not 100% sure. Pictures are upside down. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So it just goes up in your um, in your dash of your window. So really, really cool. Um, and it sold for $227.50 plus shipping. And I was thinking maybe this was a new seller because the pictures are... I'm just going to say the pictures are not great. I mean, they're upside down. <laughs> uh, yeah. But the seller has a lot of feedback, which is really odd. Uh, 11 bids. They started it at 120, so they must have known it was going to do pretty well. So very cool. Can't say that I would have known that that would have been a $227 item, but very cool. I've seen the little Hawaiian ones that sit on the dash. All right, so this is a camel, methanol, camel. Oh, they're just spelling it different. Okay, uh, it's a Zippo lighter. And this sold for $225.50 with 17 bids. And it is new old stock. But definitely be on the lookout for lighters. Listen and fun. So it's a Transformers Listen and Fun Autobot car. And it's got the tape that goes with it. And it's very cool from 1985 and it sold for $202.50. All right, this hat, it's new old stock Kent Feed Snapback hat. And I'm, I'm guessing they're just saying new old stock because it's in really, really nice condition. All the foam seems to be attached and everything's very bold and still really, yeah, it looks new old stock. Sold for $202.49 with three bids and free shipping. If you guys have not seen my hats bolo category video, definitely go check that out. This one is fun. Vintage McDonald's 12 ounce wax paper cup lot, 100 cups. How funny is this? Yep, $175. Only one bid, but that's all you need, guys. $175. All right, so I got to know. I got to go look. I'm going to type in wax. No feedback yet. When did it sell? February 21st. So it, let's see, see other items. Let's see if it got relisted. No other items. Man, that happened to me earlier when I did this. Um, that's the only sold they have. So strange. All right, the next item, the Beatles set of three Beatles hairbrushes, red, white, and blue, old stock. How fun are these? Beetle brush. I love it. Sold for $168.31, 20 bids plus shipping. All right, I also have a vintage, not a vintage, I have a Bolo category video on locks and keys. Um, this one was not in that video. This is called Van Lock, Odd Unique Padlock, High Security, New Old Stock. Sold for $166.50. All right, this is wallpaper, guys. And it only had one bid, so I can't guarantee that this is like, I can never guarantee any bolo is always going to be a bolo, but this is kind of fun. 16 rolls of this Laura Ashley wallpaper sold for $150. I have sold um, Disney like Mickey Mouse wallpaper, but it was like one or two rolls. And I did pretty good with that. I think people use them for crafts also. Spark plugs. Ford spark plugs, new old stock, $158.50 plus shipping. The next item. And when I was doing this video, I was seeing tons and tons and tons of car parts and car audio, like, uh, not audio. Oh, shucks. Like for vehicles, like, uh, mirrors and new old stock stuff for vehicles be on the lookout um so this is a new old stock vintage old school bmx uh it's the grips and this sold for 157 dollars and 50 cents plus shipping these are vintage pantyhose size extra large new old stock 
these are not like high-end pantyhose, okay? Back in the day, these probably were not very expensive. Let's see. Do any of them have a price tag? I don't know. I don't think they were much. Uh, these sold for $126.49 plus shipping. Again, state sales are a great place to find stuff like this, and they're usually priced really cheap. Vintage, new old stock, cologne, perfume. Love it. They can even be partially used and still bring big money. This one sold for $122.50 plus shipping. And it's a men's cologne. Uh, Lactopine. Doesn't sound like it would smell very good, but okay. Um, yeah, there you have it. Okay, so this is a huge 1.25. Vintage Cherry See-Through Bakelite Backgammon Doubling Cube, new old stock. How cool is that? $126.50 plus shipping. I'd like to see some measurements. Uh, one and a half. Well, is it 1.25 inches? Huh, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe that's what that means. Interesting. Definitely a cool item. All right. Uh, 12 vintage Faber Castrol, Castel, Castel. I don't know how to say it. Castel, I think that's how you say it. To be pencil marked. Okay. So I just did an office supplies video. And if you can find the ones with the crazy erasers and if, I don't know which video I'm posting first, but you guys will see that in the office video. Oh my goodness, they go for huge money if they have the unique different erasers. So definitely be on the lookout. But um, this one went for $120 plus shipping. Walkman, Walkmans do great, especially new old stock. This one sold for $120 plus shipping. These new old stock vintage hiker boots uh you can tell they look to be in really um good condition on the inside the outsides are a little scuffed which you can tell by the i mean the bottoms let's see the bottoms look great maybe that's just how they're supposed to look i don't know maybe yeah maybe that is how they look they look like they're all scratched up but i think that's just the style so these sold for $101, five bids plus shipping. And it says zero defects. So that must be how they're made. I love this one. 1977 Parker Brothers Nerf football. Still sealed. Sold for $103.49 with four bids and the buyer paid shipping. This one is a vintage La Ladro, L-L-A-D-R-O, Alice in Wonderland, new old stock. And you can see here, it's super cute. Sold for $212.51 with 62 bids plus shipping. This vintage new old stock 49ers starter hat from the 1990s sold for $120 plus shipping. Nirvana new old stock vinyl record still sealed new old stock. Uh, sold for $398 with 53 bids plus shipping. And I have to say that I, I don't like that um, cover. I've seen it on shirts and it's just, it's just weird and uncomfortable in my opinion. But people love it because they pay big money for it. Oh, my goodness. Um, my leg just, <laughs> did you see that? My whole, uh, I have a tote. Uh, lid sitting on my lap with my computer on it and my leg just like had a spasm. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm getting old. Turn 41 and you start having muscle spasms, I guess. Anyway, um, so this is a new old stock pipe. I did see a lot of new old stock pipes when I was looking through new old stock items to find these bolos for you guys. This one sold for $57 with 50 bids and free shipping. Okay, Cabbage Patch clothes, Barbie clothes, anything that is still on the stock card, I always grab if it's for a decent price. These are Cabbage Patch clothing on the cards, sold for $183.51, 42 bids, and the buyer paid shipping. 
Uh, handheld games. Uh, this one is new old stock. I'm trying to see if there's... Okay, so it's just like plastic that it came in. But you can tell it is in excellent new old stock condition. Sold for $61, 40 bids plus shipping. Always look up handheld games. A lot of them are Bolos. Holt or Howard Holt, Four Noel Angels, new old stock from 1958, sold for $265. I do have a Bolo Christmas items to be on the lookout for video. Great, great Bolos. I love sourcing Christmas stuff. It's probably one of my favorite things to sell is vintage Christmas. So definitely go check out that video. I also have a Santa Bolo video. That one's pretty cool too. And I have Halloween and Easter and Valentine's Day. People love holiday vintage items. Bakelite backgammon checkers. Definitely a Bolo. These sold for $163.50 with 37 bids. It says new old stock. I don't know how they know that. I don't see any packaging. But I guess you just take their word for it. The next item, vintage socks. Yes, I said vintage socks. I have a video on vintage, um, I forget what it's called, but it has like lingerie, panties, socks, all of the things, like undergarments that you wear that can be big money if you can get them new old stocks. So definitely go check out that video. These sold for $99 with 36 bids. These are champion tube socks. You guys, look up tube socks solds. You'll be amazed. This is a vintage weather wizard hard plastic. It's just like a little uh, house figurine. Sold for $71 with 36 bids plus shipping. How cool is that? All right. These are light covers. And it's a set of two, and they sold for $113.50 with 34 bids. And you can see, like, they come out of the packaging here. So it's got the package, but the package is in poor condition. The next item is this Walkman. It sold for $76 with 30 bids plus shipping. It's still in the original package, but it looks like Maybe something came out of the back there. I'm not really sure. But yeah, very cool. That one's a Sony brand. And this vintage My Little Pony eraser. I also showed this one in my office supplies video that I did tonight. And this is from 1986. It sold for $73 with 12 bids. And the buyer paid shipping. So new old stock, comment below. Let me know how you guys do it. Do you put new old stock? Do you use NOS? Uh, do you include that information or do you just put new? What do you guys do? Comment below. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and share. As always, have a great night and I'll see you guys soon.